Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to synthesize impulse responses or IRs. And IRs are used inside of convolution reverb devices. Usually an IR is recorded at a location. So like say my house. My house has natural sounding reverb. Uh, something like a, lo a big stadium that's empty has a bigger reverb and recording IRs set out to capture that reverb from any particular space. But you don't need to do that. You can also synthesize a space via a reverb device. Now, for the most part, if you have the reverb device, why not just save the preset? Well, sometimes you are working with somebody online or another friend in your town and they don't have the reverb you have but you really want to use the particular reverb that you've synthesized they do however have the max for lives essentials which comes with the convolution reverb pro there are also a few free convolution reverb plugins out there that you can grab, but I particularly just stick with the uh, Convolution Reverb Pro from Max, uh, from Max for Live. There are also a bunch of other reasons why you might want to do this, but let's skip the reasons why and just get to the how. Usually when you're recording an impulse response, you just want a quick, quick sound, like a starter pistol, or you can use one of those like uh, slates for when you're filming movies and they say take one and it snaps real fast. Those are used to sync audio. What we need to do is find something like that that we can use inside of you know Ableton Live. But what I did was just went right to the Max for Live Essentials pack and inside the Max for Live pack I went to Audio Effect, Convolution Reverb, IRs and just the first place it says Real Places and then this first WAV file. This is a professionally made IR and I figured I would just take the sound that they use. So I went ahead and dragged that into Ableton and you, if your fades are on you want to make sure you're not cutting off any of that sound and this is what it sounds like. So what I want is just this clapping sound. And I'm just going to get rid of this, delete that, pull this over, just zoom in so we don't cut anything off here. And now we've got just a, the faintest bit of sound, although if you look over here, it's peaking up pretty high. So it's a good amount of sound and it's enough to drive a reverb. So that's how we can get our impulse response. The next thing I would do is find a reverb that I, I would like. And for this, I'm just gonna use the reverb device right inside Ableton Live and drop it on there. So that's the reverb. And of course we can adjust that or use a different uh, preset. But essentially all we're hearing is the characteristics of the reverb itself and not really any sound that's gonna be distracting when we use the impulse response in a convolution reverb plugin. So what we can do and what I would suggest doing is definitely save a copy of this, but just go ahead, right click, freeze, and then flatten. And now we have an impulse response. So that's it. And when you freeze and flatten inside a live, it's going to it's going to freeze all the way until there's no sound. So you don't have to worry about trimming this or copy cropping or anything like that. Uh, you might want to normalize, uh, bring it up. You might want to put a, a compressor on there or a limiter or something, but you don't need to. But that's all you have to do. And now that I've done that and I've flattened, if you go into current project, samples, processed, freeze, this is this file. So now you can do whatever you want. You can rename it, you can do another one, which is what I did with the last pack I just released. I did 200 of them. A lot of people really liked them. And that's all I did. I freeze, flattened, and then I went into the project temporary folder and just grabbed all the frozen tracks from that folder and put them into a different folder. And then when I close out of here, I have them and I can just slide them into any convolution reverb plugin that I want. So anyway, that's how you do it. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Let's just do one more real quick. Out of space. So that's a great sounding reverb. I can right click, freeze track. And again, you can see where it's frozen to is right here and that's where there is no more audio. So we don't have to worry about 
cropping too much or not cutting enough or whatever. It's going to be exactly the length it, it needs to be. Flatten, and there we go. And if we go back into current project, I now have freeze two, which is the new impulse response. Anyway, that's how you do it. I hope you learned something. I hope you use it. Go check out the blog to get those other 200 um, reverbs, some really great ones in there, some really funky ones and stuff like that. But anyway,